In West Texas, where it's usually dry and dusty, you'll find rolling hills with plenty of prairie grasses. This pristine Chihuahuan desert grassland is the Billingsley Ranch. Aye. Stuart Sasser runs the place. Aye. He and his wife and father-in-law, Dan Hughes Sr., bought the ranch in 2008. Not long after, a wildfire set them back to square one. And it came up through here and burned about 70% of this ranch. We were able then to start completely over with a new set of fences that are antelope friendly type fences and build a new type of water system. This is one of 50 water troughs on the ranch that we've put up here at a higher elevation in an effort to try to get the cattle to come up into this higher country and graze. When I come up here, it just reminds me how blessed I am to be responsible for this country. And look, a silhouette up there looks like. Stewart's approach to uh, management out here is not really all from a cattle production perspective. He really has a holistic view of the place. He wants to improve it for, for the wildlife, the native wildlife. We try to run this country with about a cow to every 50 acres. I think you could probably do it about one to 40, but I try to keep it at about one to 50 acres. And so you don't want to overly graze it. But you know, looking at the place, it's the variety of grasses, it's beautiful. It's, it's in really good shape. You know, a real good example of the Chihuahuan Desert grassland out here. Another grass you'll see that's, that you'll find in swales and wet spots is this stuff right here. It's called uh, vine mesquite, and it's one of the few grasses out here that, that really produces a big enough seed that the quail and dove will use it. It makes a good little seed. Stewart's Ranch is also a refuge for the fragile pronghorn, which has been struggling in the Transpecos as of late. With drought and dwindling numbers, biologists worry that they would disappear from this part of Texas. So to boost numbers, they captured and translocated pronghorn here to West Texas. And his prime grassland habitat was just what biologists needed. We've completed seven translocations since 2011. The Hughes Sasser Ranch served as our release site for pronghorn in 2016. And the result of these translocations is an upturn in the population. And so we've actually doubled our population size since 2012 to today. One prairie management strategy that seems to be helping the pronghorn is a simple change in fencing. There we go. Researchers discovered that these free roaming foragers would rather go under than over. This way pronghorn, when they're ready to pass through the area, are able to just simply move right under the fence. And so this is an all hands on deck effort and it is probably one of the most successful parts of our restoration effort. It's great, that's nice and tight. It's been about seven or eight years project and we've just about opened all the fences in the Marfa area, 300, 400,000 acres worth. The data shows that they use those passes tremendously and I think that's gonna alleviate some of the ups and downs of the population. It's all good pronghorn country. While the road to recovery looks promising for the pronghorn. Makes me feel good. I feel like we're on the right track to get them to come back. Stewart's push to improve this Chihuahuan Prairie continues. Feels like it puts a real responsibility on you to, to work it and maintain it and keep it in a good state and leave it better than the way you found it for the next generation is what you want. <laughs>